We're not sure if this was intentional or not, but Tesla has updated the service manual for the Highland vehicles to include a brand new performance model, a plaid model if you will, and this includes all the goodies that we've been looking for. Now a couple hours later, this was then discovered to no longer be the plaid models and now called the ludicrous model just because of the badge itself does not look like the badging on the Model S and X. Somehow, this references back to the the space ball and how it goes into warp speed and this is supposedly what it's supposed to look like. Now I'm not into it so I don't really know what this is all about but I do think that this is a little bit different than the plaid models and the plaid model badges. Now then following all this Tesla decides to remove all reference back to this plaid or ludicrous model 3 completely out of the service manual and that leaves us simply with the dual motor badge that we've been seeing in all other models three performances. All this is extremely weird to say the least, but at least we know for sure that there is going to be an upgraded Model 3 coming out very soon. This is the exact model I was telling you guys to wait all along. This is going to be one of the biggest changes in terms of the Model 3 performance. With the current version of the Model 3, which is what we have right now in North America, they really haven't differentiated between the other trims versus the performance that much. But with this version of the Model 3 coming out, which is going to be the Plaid or the Ludicrous Model 3, things are going to change. There is going to be a very substantial difference between the other trims versus this trim. All right, so during the moment when this was all happening, you guys might have missed it if you guys were asleep, but there were a lot of exclusive information and a lot of images that were leaked out and you guys can see here in these images. Although there are a lot of information that we can get into detail with, I want to quickly just run down a list of things that have easily been noticed when this was all happening. So first of all, it showed off the body of this new vehicle, which honestly isn't too different than what we've seen in the Highlands with the long range and the base. The rear now includes a spoiler, which pretty much we've expected in all performance models, but it also includes the new updated dual motor badge as well as the ludicrous or the plaid badge that you can see in the back right here. If we take a look closer into the parts, you'll notice that we have new suspension and and beefier brakes that can only indicate one thing and that is that the car is going to be a lot quicker and it's all thanks to the new powertrain. Now in terms of the drivetrain we're probably seeing the drive unit coming from the Model S's and going into the rear of the Model 3 making it the ludicrous Model 3. This should ultimately put it into the sub 3 seconds 0 to 60 and from what I'm expecting it's probably going to land right in the middle which is 2.5 5 seconds 0 to 60. Now 2.5 seconds is very respectable. To be honest, it is the quickest car on the road other than the Plaz right now at 1.99 seconds. But honestly, for what it is, really you can't get any better than this vehicle. Now the only one real question here is whether this is going to be the carbon sleeved rotors that we see in the Model S's and X's because this is going to give it the capability of going from 0 to 100, 100 to 200 miles per hour without losing any of the steam. If somehow Tesla manages to slap this carbon sleeved rotor inside of the Model 3, it is literally going to be the quickest car and the fastest car in its segment. It's going to take the other manufacturers a lot of engineering to be able to get close to what the Plaid Model 3 is able to output. But really, we're going to have to wait and see and just fingers crossed here that that is what's going to be happening. Now, during this timeline of a few hours, a couple other things also came up and this is the new wheels that we are going to be getting with the Model 3 performance. It seems like this time around Tesla is giving us the option of two different rims and that is going to be the 19 inch and the 20 inch. Honestly it's really nice because we've never really been given the option with the performance model we've only gotten the Uber turbine and that just feels a little bit rough while we're driving it. Now it's really nice that the Uber turbines are very track oriented however with all the potholes and all the other issues it's just not worth it to have and the option of the 19 and 20 inch wheels are really really nice. Now in terms of top speed
speed, I do think this time around they're going to prioritize the sound insulation just like they did with the current Highlands that came off the line. What you're going to notice is that if you switch over to these track oriented wheels, you will unlock some of the higher top speed. But if you don't, you're going to be limited to something much lower. Now carrying on, these wheels are going to be called the new warp wheels, which sound really good compared to Uber turbines. The new single color for these wheels are going to be called the incognito gray, which sounds really fantastic as well. The coolest thing about all this is the new wheels are going to come with physical attachments for the aero caps. You would not think that performance model would have the aero cap at all, but this time around, they've added something that is quite different. If you take a closer look to these wheels here, you'll notice that there are some holes on the outer edges. These are attachments for the aero caps or the aero pieces that should snap on. These are where you can insert the aero trims or detach them from the wheel and I think it's really great. Honestly, first impressions here, even if you left the aero caps on, they look just as good and just as aggressive. So if it was me, I would just leave it on and take the efficiency and the looks with it. Overall, this is really great news and the fact that we got to see a glimpse of what these new Model 3s are going to look like is going to be fantastic. It isn't exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping more for the tri-motor plaids, but the fact that we're getting two and a half second for the dual motor ludicrous mode is nothing to joke at. Side by side, this should technically annihilate the current Model 3s if you were doing 0 to 60s and with the carbon sleeved rotors, hopefully it can boost way ahead of the Model 3 when you're going quarter mile or more. There is so much extra little details that I do want to discuss with you guys, but like I said, I'm still feeling under the weather from the last couple days and it still hasn't ended yet. So excuse the stuffiness and excuse the late push out of videos. Once I feel better, there is going to be a definite schedule for the release of videos. So make sure you guys stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already done so, and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where you guys can discuss with me freely, literally about anything. If you guys get a chance, please drop me a comment below as well and hit that like button before you guys leave. This is John once again. Peace out.